All right, guys, we're back in my garage for another episode of the B58 Digest. If you're new to the channel, I create these videos to help keep everybody up to date with the latest and greatest developments in the B58 community. So if you're interested in keeping up with that, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll have a lot more of these videos coming out soon. So in today's video, we're going to talk about something that I wasn't really planning on talking about. And I've talked about this in other videos, but generally I don't put a lot of energy into researching parts that I don't really see a big need for. And this kind of falls into that category. So Dynan has come out with ignition coils that they are saying is a 10% upgrade in performance over stock. So first of all, I just want to comment on that because I think a lot of people default to needing upgraded spark plugs and injectors and coil packs and all these things simply because they're coming from older BMW platforms where that was necessary. Sometimes that is the case, but in our scenario, I don't really see the coil packs being an issue. I don't know that everybody understands what an improvement in performance for a coil pack will actually add. Um, but just by putting that on there, of course, everybody's asking, you know, is this something that I need to upgrade to? So real quick, we'll just talk about coil packs. And I have this experience from like my Volkswagen days. When we ran higher boost levels, like around 20 PSI on the stock turbo, it was very common to run into ignition system issues and your spark plugs were good, the spark plug gap was good, but you simply didn't have enough energy going to the spark plug to create good combustion. And so it would misfire. And when you upgraded your coil packs, it would eliminate that problem because the additional energy in the coil pack would allow the spark plug to fire, even though those combustion pressures were going up because we were running more boost. So that's really where the ignition coil comes into play. You wanna make sure that you're putting enough energy into the spark plug to compensate for fuel, AFRs, heat, combustion pressures, and everything that's going on in your cylinder to make sure that you have a good burn. In our cars, plenty of people are running the stock coil packs making 700, 800 plus horsepower. So saying that it's a 10% improvement over stock doesn't necessarily mean that you need it and doesn't necessarily mean that it'll make your car run better. Coil packs themselves aren't really like a maintenance item. It's something that you replace when it's worn. So just like any other temperature sensor, pressure sensor, etc. throughout your car, this is an electrical component that's basically designed to work until it's completely worn out and then you replace it as needed. So I don't really see this as something that you do as preventative maintenance. I don't really see this as something that's needed for an upgrade for 99.9% .9 of people out there. But the other problem comes in with the price. And this might change over time, but right now the price is actually cheaper than the OEM Elder option. And so most people know the Elder coils, like I said, work really well. If you have to replace it, typically just go with the Elder ones. The Bosch ones have been a little bit hit or miss. But now we actually have an option that's cheaper than the OEM Eldor coils. Even if you look at companies like FCP, it's a little bit more expensive. So now the conversation changes from, is it a performance improvement to, will it mess up my car? You know, if I want these blue or red coil packs to dress up my engine bay, even if it's not a performance improvement, will it be okay to run since it's cheaper than the stock ones anyway? From that, I don't really think it will be, you know, anything that causes an issue. Usually parts like these are just kind of refurbished OEM units, maybe slight upgrades. Obviously, they are modifying the casing to give it the different colors. I don't have any actual connections with Dynan. I don't know where they're getting these from or anything like that. I don't think it'll be an issue. It really just creates the capacity to support more power. But again, that's going to be way past the horsepower that majority of us are ever going to see on our cars. But yeah, from that standpoint, I mean, if you just want the coil packs to kind of dress up your engine bay, you know, they do come in different colors like red and blue. So if that's what you want to do, it's probably not an issue. But I definitely don't feel like this is something where you need to go buy six coil packs and replace them with your spark plugs every 20,000 miles or something just to make sure that your car is running better. At this point, it's really just not something that most people are going to need. So that's my opinion on it. As always, we're going to have to wait for more people to really try it out and post up reviews to make sure we understand how well it works. But on paper, and just looking at it, it seems like it really won't be an issue. So thanks for watching this video. I hope this helps. And if you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below.
Do 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 do